1774 wow. to 1776. And it was born in Eastern Europe, and it is based off of uh, its lineage. It is guessed that it is from Poland. Hmm. Now, the Torah scroll is in the Kitab of the Ashkenazi al Rizal script, with its column widths and its column lengths, and, and the parchment is on deer skin. Hmm. Now, the Torah is it sat quietly in a synagogue in Jerusalem for decades before it was turned over to a yeshiva where, as it was no longer considered kosher as a kosher scroll, and then students, young teenagers, would use it to study, to learn about the Word of God. Hmm. So what was happening in the world during this scroll when it was born? Well, in March of 1774, the Kingdom of Great Britain it orders the port of Boston, Massachusetts closed. And then in that September of 74, the Massachusetts Bay colonists, they rise up in a bloodless powder alarm. And then the First Continental Congress assembles in Philadelphia that year. Welcome. Come on in. And the first display of the word liberty is on that flag. And it was raised by the colonists in Taunton, Massachusetts, in defiance of the Kingdom of Great Britain, named British rule for the colonial America. And Randy would have just enjoyed the mess of this. He liked history like I did. I was like, oh my goodness! Look at this. Then in 1775, in February, the Parliament of Great Britain declares Massachusetts a rebellion. And then in April, the battles of Lexington and Concord called British Advancement at the Sea Begins. And then Paul Revere and other writers ride the countryside. Mm. And the true moments. We all know the stories. That's how old this scroll is. Mm. Mm. And then the war begins in this with an American victory there in Concord in the battles of Lexington and Concord. And looking to the birthplace of this scroll that we'll be introducing today. In the 17th century, there were many significant Jewish populations in Western and Central Europe. The relatively tolerant Poland was the largest in, of the Jewish population throughout Europe. And the elder rabbi for Poland at this time in Central Europe was none other than the Baal Shem Tov. Pretty cool. His disciples taught and encouraged that new fervent brand of Judaism we call Hasidic, Hasidism now. And the most out, outstanding figure at the time was, actually you probably heard of this, Moshe Mendelssohn. Mm -hmm. He was a devoted adherent to traditional Judaism who turned away from all the historic Jewish uh, preoccupation with the Talmud and all the other Jewish literature. And he moved into an intellectual world. Remember, in the 17th century, this was the world of European enlightenment. He wanted to jump on board. And to that end, he joined with a poet, Naftali Hertz, in translating the Torah into German combining new Hebrew characters with that of the modern uh, phonetics of Yiddish. And he wrote the biblical commentary in Hebrew called the Bayur. All this when this scroll was in a synagogue in Poland. And within a generation, Mendelssohn's Bible was to be found in almost every J literate Jewish home throughout Central Europe and serving to introduce its readers to German culture Jewish German culture. Now in the merit of the arduous journey that this Taurus girl went through to be here with us today, it made its kadosha, its sanctity, hmm. and the honor that we bestow upon it help us to recommit and reconnect our lives to Adonai through the study of His Torah and the performance of His mitzvah. I think Randy would not have any problem with mm -hmm. just that. And I'm going to have Terry come up and she's going to be holding the bima, I mean the Torah scroll that we've pulled out. And I'm going to introduce Randy's scroll to our others. Torah scrolls on behalf of the holy congregation that prays within this synagogue. You are requested to come forth and greet the Torah of Bet Hasha'ar as merited to receive an honor and memoriam of Randall Sears at this auspicious hour to this synagogue.
Oksana will come and begin to stand on the other side. Yeah. Great. Time shall know. Are you ready? We are going to sing the Psalm number 150, mostly in Hebrew. So if you want to know what I'm thinking about, just open your Bible. No. <laughs> 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 to greet Randy's Torah with a kiss as well. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
llamas, puedes llamar.